Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to combine transformations. So we've looked at the rotation transformation, we looked at translation which is moving things left, right, up, down and inwards and you know out of the screen and we've looked at scaling which is essentially making things larger or smaller. But what if you want to do like all of those at the same time or you know some of them at the same time, how do you actually go about handling that so that's what we're covering in this video so this is going to be heavily based off the code that's been covered in those other previous videos so there's a lot of code already here so feel free to go and get that from those previous videos recommend that you go and check them out first uh, okay so we've got the code right here we've got the cube rotating already got that in there by default right here you can have any speed you want and i've got the translation and the scaling stuff set up here got it on you know commented there so let's actually put it inside so if we want to translate something and this is how we would do it and remember feel free to go and check out the translation video you know the moving objects video and what we would do in our vertex code we would usually just add it on to the position right here but if we want to really combine stuff because if we just do that like plus and i've already you know put the uniform variables here so if i just put, put plus translation as you can see what it's essentially doing is rotating around the pivot point so we actually want to handle all of these matrix stuff first and then add it on afterwards so what we do is outside here we need to say plus vec4 and in here we're going to create a vec3 and in here we're going to have translation dot x translation dot y and we're not going to have a z that needs to be separate what i found if you don't have it separate it doesn't you know properly work so if you put and you need to negate it otherwise it does the opposite of what we want to do in terms of the right-handed coordinate system so dot z and if i save that now as you can see it has moved it so if we look at the translation the translation was three and one so it's basically bringing it in a bit that's the one and the three taking it right so if i put like a minus two here this will move it back a bit and you know it's a bit to the right from the center as well but now it is rotating based on its own center point so that's essentially what we are doing which is fantastic okay so next what if we want to add some scaling so to add the scale yeah, i'm wondering where the other end comment section was i'm sure like i'm sure we got it somewhere if we want to do that that is pretty simple all we have to do is if we scroll up to here where are we looking where is it yeah okay so we just need to multiply this by the scale matrix and you might think you need hasn't scaled it and that's just because if i scroll down the scale is at one 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 so if i do it at two 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 so you'll basically double the width, height, and depth. So technically this object is eight times as large. No, that does not look right. So what has happened here? Hmm. Hmm. So bits of it are being clipped. That should just be a one usually, so that shouldn't be the issue anyway. I'm pretty sure that's not the issue. Nope, that has not changed the size of it at all. I sort of changed the position to be fair, that's all that's done. Mm. 
if I do scale matrix and let's say if I don't actually move it I need a semicolon here okay so that's interesting hmm. scale it by just the one first And if I scale this by two, and I scale it by two in the y-axis, this is a taller box now. And you know what? I think I know what the issue is. So if I put a translation of like minus ten. As you can see, that seems okay. You might be thinking the size of the box doesn't look any different. That's just because it's further away now. So yeah, I'll explain what was happening in a second. So as you can see, that's what the box should look like based on its original size now that we moved it away. And if, let's say, I'll do this up to three, so this will be pretty big. And again, you don't have to be uniform. You could just scale in one axis. But I'm just, just, just doing it like this. So the reason things were just sort of disappearing, it was... It was based on its position it got too big and it was sort of going behind where the virtual camera was so the actual camera was going inside the object so it was working is just based on the numbers that are used and obviously you can move it up and down as well so that is how you combine all three transformations in a shader file if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video